Once upon a time... Uh, begin at the beginning, I suppose. My purpose in coming here tonight was twofold. As you see, my dear Pick, the human ear is a perfect recording and amplifying apparatus. Drinking every copy. Texture. An artifact. When do we start? Oh, we start it. It sounds like this. I had a dream. It's like... Good morning, you're through to James in customer services. Can I just confirm that you're the principal cardholder? Uh, no. Listen. Okay. I tried to call you yesterday, but I couldn't get through. I listen to Radio 4 all the time, and I heard somebody talking about the word posh yesterday, and I wondered if you knew how it came into being. You mean port out starboard home? Yes, because when they were sailing to India, the richer passengers would be able to book out both sides and stay in the shade the whole way. Yes, I did hear about that. Interesting fact. Yes, I just thought you might like to know. Yes, thanks for bringing it up. I'll take a note of it. OK, well, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. bye bye uh, Auntie was a uh, red guard mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, they are. The auntie you, you met before. Dai. Dai. Mm. She travel. You, you know, in that time, red guard can travel. She take train. Free. Yeah. Take trains free to Beijing. She did. What to do? They want to see the chairman now. Will be excited and crying. played in bands. He played the uh, double bass. Before D-Day, the weather was pretty terrible. No, no one thought there was anything going to happen for several days. And he went off one evening with permission to play in a dance band. And he came back in the early hours of the morning to camp. And there was no one there. His rifle had gone. Everything had gone. Everyone had gone off for D-Day. I immediately got to work on a Raymond Chandler-style detective story titled The Case of the Missing Body, and had completed a few pages when the teacher decided to start her own investigation into what I was so busy with. She picked up the pages, read for perhaps 10 seconds, then ripped it up and put it in the bin. You know, there's no um, real apocalypse in traditional Chinese culture, you know, Confucius culture or uh, whatever, as opposed to the West, with, you know, Judeo-Christian tradition, you know, the end of the world, etc. I was talking to the owner of my school, and she just watched TV the night before, and she was like, oh yeah, I watched this movie on Hong Kong TV with Kevin Costner, and it's like a Western, you know, he's like... Uh, a cowboy, you know, riding through the United States with a lot of horse. And uh, it turns out she was talking about that movie, uh, The Postman or whatever. So I was trying to explain to her that this, this actually was like after taking place in the future, after an apocalypse. And she just refused to believe it. She was like, no, how, you know, how could that happen? How could the world end? 